Hi guys, today's video is on a hair tutorial to get this look. It is a fast, easy hair look using ceramic hot rollers and if you are interested on achieving this look, then just keep watching. Alright, thanks! I'm going to start off by showing you what ceramic hot curlers I use and today I am using the Remington Compact hot curlers and they come in two different sizes the uh, large ones are a inch and a quarter and then the medium ones are an inch and you just leave them in here they warm up pretty quickly and you just plug it in with this cord and then once you open it they come in the black and the red they also have the metal rods to close them off they have the red detail to close off the red ones and they have the black detailed ones to um, close off the black ones. Super simple to achieve this look, especially if you're like me who is a mother and I'm always on the go. I'm always doing things with my daughter and I don't have the time to do my hair as much as I would like to. And um, that's why if you haven't noticed, I always leave my hair just like this. This is just my hair air dried, like out of the shower, haven't put nothing in it. And I mean, it's workable. I can just walk out the door like this. But if I am feeling like I want a little volume in my hair because it is naturally straight and very limp, I guess you can say, I don't have as much volume as I like. I like really big, flowy type hair. So, um, that's where these curlers come in and that's where I take advantage and use them. Alright, enough of me rambling, let's just get to it. Before, before we put any hot rollers in our hair, I do want to use my heat protector. And this is the Tresemme heat protection and just spritz that all over my hair. And then just take a brush and brush it all throughout your head so the product gets distributed evenly. I like to spray a little bit of hairspray in my hair. I'm just going to use the Chi hairspray and just put a little bit all over. Okay, I'm going to start from the bottom up, so I'm just going to section a piece of my hair and then clip the rest up. And then I'm just going to section this bottom half right here into two pieces. And I'm going to take the medium sized curler and curl it in. And just clip it. Then I'm going to section another piece off. And this I'm going to section in three pieces. So I'm going to have two on the side and then one on the back. For the top I'm just going to section it right down the middle. I'm going to cut one section off right here. Since I've already used all the medium size, I'm going to use for the top layer the large size ones. Alright, now that you have all your heart rollers in your hair, um, you're just going to take some more hairspray and just spritz it all over just for an extra hold. Now we wait. I say you can wait about like 10-15 minutes, but I wait till pretty much um, all the rollers have cooled down. And in the meantime, I usually just do my makeup or I am getting my daughter ready for the day or um, just doing little just doing little things around the house. So I will catch you guys in a little bit.
Okay, I'm back from letting the hot curlers sit in my hair. I say I let them sit for about 30 minutes or so. That gave them more than enough time for the hot curlers to fully cool down. And I am ready to take them out. I'm just going to start from the bottom and work my way up just like I put them in. And I'm just going to just slightly unwind it. Don't pull on the hot cur curler. Just let it unwind on its own. This is the exciting part, seeing how your hair turns out. And that was all the medium size curlers. Then I'm going to do the large size curlers. Last one. Alright, and then you just leave it like this. No, I'm just kidding. After your hair is all out the hot curlers, then you just take your fingers and I and just lightly um brush them through the curls so the curls are able to separate. And I, I part my hair to my uh, left side, so I just bring all my hair over to the left side. And as you can see, it took like two seconds to undo all the curlers and be able to run my fingers through my hair. And that's pretty much the look that I'm going for today. I'm using this Suave Hairspray for finishing touches. I like it because it's a lightweight hold and it doesn't leave my hair feeling stiff. It leaves it feeling flowy, but it still has that extra hold that um, you want to put in your hair after you take all the curls out. So I'm just going to lightly spray up here and then spray down into my curls. And then just like kind of pump them up just to put a little bit more curl into them. Alright, and this is the finished hair look. As you can see, my curls are bouncy and there's a lot of volume in my hair now. And pretty much this is the finished product. If you have any questions about this hair look, comment down below. And if you can, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. Alright ladies, thanks for watching. Bye.